Then I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Kenji she was so Johnny Shuba Kadune, the Dundung Aberling, and a meal some denling. Then a Kainata, Chick and a Kadachi Rajunians or Jonase, Chikaina Chita, Sudum de Cassati, Tunde Giore, Ling Chicche, then a Joju Lobelling, Cheney, Linka Soso Sosetua. What a meal some denling said in Alola. Tai Kambutsu, any Tai Hoshan, sir, any Gom Demni, or Tindinaji, Kuyari. That did you nay, Hoshan Zute, non dream by inner? Can she show the Rangi Kabuchan Shikrava? That the Pajiko Kasuri, eh, young Mavichim Berta, Dudua Danag, Nanjanalia. Takshim was sad, or some devil sad in the young Tikitua. So that the name Kenji shows who come on young and dancing with jelly, any guy came or chick some day come a kashegi, a tartung. The some day come a chick which ogres, the some day come that day, any chick num dog, you work up some jig, daggett on any da come to any tabo to research. Lucy's not revealing because you have a cadulia. And the Labra book in the Tanga Gation in Church in Chevy, the Labra book is this. And the Koran King Sigdus, and the Gom de was Chigu, that's Kasur Pig, some day Gomba Chigu, and the Sanjay Kuan Tukusin, Kiana de Sungi, and the Rebess and Agestis. I don't even understand the Chevy in La, Chow Kanda, or that the Chig Chigbe. Nam dog, Tundu Pakan, Sichi will come Bushigi, the Santi Givaji. Or the Nigi that Tunguji, that you do Shukshamucho on Radua. Just any er Lobo Gamalish in the Pemni, Savada Savanani, any Dai can be Mitopolanga, Lung Munguji, Tanya, Tanya to the Teller, Lobo Gamalishile, any Lundu, but any Sour but Dana Pony. Lung Kong or Digni, any Lung Tane, Pa Casoreta, Cabotia, Lung Din di Chinna, any Ribetane, any Cabotia di Cheni, did not do. Chen order do Cheni, any Hashang Rigji, the Tarum de Chi, did any Kenji, as I think Kenji, she was a call of Shisungi, the call of Lunden Shisungi. And Gamal Shilla Pemni, or that the Zebra Pumper Zebra Lugu Yungua. So that the Gub de Zebra Race in Sugar Yarla, Beje Matanda Dos, my Devina, Savisha, Hagar under the Gumrim Tamena Lol, Shushu Shumutua. So did he in there? That they are Lugu in the day, that Lobin Cantati, Lobin Gamal Shilla, Shira Gurdin Shumuta. Tatabodo, on the Perg Sanjay Tambas Ledu, the Tursum Combo Chokshar Molong Chick Tan and Dodea, that is the Lobin to the Gurdin Chadiari, and the Chisu, and the Chorja Band, the Udisha Penia, Didi, Pigay, Casual General Nanche, that's going to be Jura, and the Lobin Kamalishil Gumrimdi, and me Guru Bodi, Chuja Chisun to Sanche, and Nansa the Perlian, Tim Nine, the Encourage to Mim Jurisha. What did you say? So, Namjuya, she perg Sanjay, she got so lama suzu in it, lama ism rich and said it to Gata, lama ism in the maintenance and shingle. Says what? Machine and the chick lambda looks rich and do some do the agi. Yeah, chick that church and our chick. That this in Sasha Yamari, Tom Rukaki Yamari. Uh, Luzi, 
What is the name of that village, small village near Koksa? I spent one night there. Sisur. Ka. Sisur. Oh, one, one small sort of city. Uh, a town. Uh, we had uh, lunch there. And they look at the Chesaka and Azumi in Yukala set. And you were so young, and Goshi Mongoyari, and Grand Kawasaja, and so that Moshi Trogwini and Naza to your surgery, and Gogoche there, and because of Palim to Kisha and the Palim to Sasha. And then you were the Tiji, or you were the Aja Lachik to the Goro Mochasha, Naman and the Tiburi, the Chimikudul, Nimdo Yosa. So, <laughs> Gindunda, Sanjay, the Shankor Mato, Dharma said, Yahoo's Mashimba, Chu Kunjo said, Continue Yahoo's Mashana, Gindu Kunjo, the Sanjay Kunjo, the Kaushari. Saturday Indu, and not the Shing Mesa, and the name the Tivi, and Sanjay Jumden, the Sangwada, and the wounds of the Chipper Vesha, and the Chipper Esa. Amida. Me two or something with you, Yavishani, did they give me younger me, Sanjay Shansen could driven down the younger brother? So, under wounds who genesis, she driven them usually, she ordered, took she will a chassel, she soon had to turn it as soon as she ordered, younger, that's the chair. The Chidayang or Chig Tumungita means Zabatanda, Chitizu, the Runa Shavina, the Sanjay Drug Marwata. So, I did it in the internet dish on a long no livery. Lang non mugaya, uh, and the Casota, uh, Taga and the Ube, this two, uh, and Nangber Lavish, this is much Yamare, Yorba. She loved a pools with Tulo Severus Crenche, Naya Yombe Cotolia, Butum Shanam Gajami, she saw, or Jam Judy Tendigi. In a pugilia, Buddhist Carsig wrestling, Buddhist Conjuration, Shing Mesa, Chasa Oda, Nazumanguji. Any Pavel Lamena lawyer, Mashamitin, Yon de Giari. Sangin and Yutawa Shetty at the day, and Nam Perli, Lamachi, Sungjun Giari. Six in a two top of Mendra, two top of the Zugusaja Shoe Mendra, and all Lamati, Sungjun Nanche, Yevakalia, any, the Sungju Shung, Michigi, Lama Gundishuri, and a Sanja Sanja Sadi, Gundijari, Kawaiores, and Gundishuri, and a Lamati, and Sung Church of Fashion Member Mendra. Young Sung Church of Yugi, you will most away on secret that they are conveying that. Santa Cadayagi, Lame, any sugar day, any Mingun Zu Namlia Kirche, Mingun Nanga Yinshil, Shaji Kangbe Nalo, Vesari, Shuya Richard, Sanja said, and George said that. Chasanga Daddy, Chog Drugu, that Chog Drugu, the Chog Drugu, any. Chugu Yingle, your mission to launches over Sukusha Dada, tell them Bamil Hundugi, any Sukurakwa, Jugusha, the Zunam Shadi, the King of Dadwa, said the summary. Chesangan Pavanani in a church love to Chick, double Dunda, Solusida, Chitinage, and Chimamoto, Chimoto, things of you, Chick Romney died to the Chedi. Pesaz Langanis <laughs> Soro, I do shed it. That dipped Chiluta, non Judisha. Nanzo Sanjay Church and some log, Sanjay Church at the condition body, Yinjim, Minjil, Lobson Cheni, Shanguadi, she was cash of Risha. Just one. No, yeah. Jessica, he has care of 
there is a historical account which says that Chandrakshita, um, when Chandrakshita was living in uh, Tibet in those days, there were uh, Chinese Hwashangs, Chinese uh, monks, who were also uh, residing in Samye Monastery. Um, Samya Monastery and uh, doing uh, concentration practice, practice of uh, meditation uh, in this department of Sam Samya Monastery, which is called Miyo Samtin Ling, the, uh, con the, uh, the department for uh, department of uh, concentration, the immovable concentration or something like that. And there are other departments uh, like the, the department for tantric practitioners, department for monastics, the monks, and then department for translators. And so uh, these uh, Chinese Russians were living in the uh, uh, the Department for Concentration, the Immovable Concentration. And uh, this story uh, goes that it is also mentioned in Rongdun Shejakundik's commentary, uh, which Solonis had mentioned earlier. Um, perhaps I've not been uh, able to translate it. Uh, uh, but uh, in Rongdun Shejakundik's commentary on all the three uh, books of uh, the stages of meditation, uh, he also mentions this story. And so um, he mentions that uh, there were those Chinese uh, masters who were doing meditation and if the Chinese masters had been doing the wrong kind of following the wrong kind of system of meditation perhaps uh, Abhut Shandarakshita must have objected to them to their way of meditation but uh, it may not have been the case like that. But after the death of Shakya, uh, the Shandarakshita, then there had been some uh, Chinese Huashangs who had emphasized only single-pointed meditation in, to get enlightenment, and there, there was no need for doing any kind of study or any other things uh, apart from doing just single-pointed meditation. And uh, th therefore, uh, this kind of wrong understanding, wrong views, and distorted uh, kind of uh, teachings spread in Samye at that time. Even today, uh, when one time I was in Japan, uh, some I uh, was in a monastery, uh, uh, some school children asked me this question, uh, uh, uh, told me that his teacher told him that only single-pointed meditation can lead one to uh, the, uh, the, uh, the enlightenment, with the hood. And is this a case? And uh, His Holiness gave the answer accordingly, uh, and uh, that, that uh, you need to study uh, the, the text. And so uh, the Hoshans, uh, after, after the death of uh, the uh, Shandarakshita, had uh, spread this kind of wrong view of uh, doing only concentration practice to reach enlightenment. And uh, they, of course, they, uh, the, the, they had the, the scriptural uh, support, I mean, the, uh, the, the citations that they use to prove, to, uh, prove their position. Uh, they have uh, the scriptural quotations which talks about thoughtless, meditation on thoughtlessness. And so uh, Kamala Shila, afterwards, uh, at the behest, uh, as prophesied by Shandarakshita, Kamala Shila was in, uh, invited by the uh, Tibetan emperor uh, to. Uh, uh, he, uh, uh, and so Kamala Shila had. Uh, uh, Kamala Shila uh, debated against the uh, Hoshangs, and uh, then he actually refuted their view that only uh, single-pointed meditation can lead to this uh, uh, the uh, enlightenment. But he he used his own I mean, scriptural uh, support, I mean, scriptural citations as well as logic, and so Tibetan Buddhism, in a way, uh, because we follow logic as well as the scriptures. I mean, we we followed logic so much. Therefore, uh, Kamala Shila was able to clarify that the the, the the system of the Hoshangs at that time, and we follow his dear system, which is not uh, partial. So we, we we we try to understand the uh, teaching as a holistic system, and uh, this was also uh, done by Atisha when he came to Tibet. So it's very some unique system uh, way of uh, studying and. Uh, and uh, and so uh, Tibetan Buddhism has been called Lamaism by people. But if you look at this text by Kamala Shila, then you will know whether it's a Lamaism or not. And of course, people have some kind of a distorted view about Tibetan Buddhism. So. 
uh, just following our spiritual system, uh, spiritual uh, practices as a custom it doesn't mean much. There's no weight in it. But uh, for example, when we were one, when I was one time going to uh, Jispa uh, uh, across from the, the Rotangla, uh, we stopped on uh, for lunch at Sisur, a place, uh, which small village, and there people uh, gathered and they offered us lunch. And then after lunch, I came out and saw the local people, and there were some lady. Uh, who, uh, there was some lady who said he she had been uh, with me on the Dilburi. This is a uh, very uh, sacred um, uh, peak, sac sacred mountain of uh, Gandapada, and uh, that she had been with me on uh, on a pilgrimage to that uh, circumambulation of the Dilburi. And so uh, I, when I met them, I asked them, "You all, you are all Buddhists?" And they said yes. And then I asked them, "What does bu uh, bu uh, Buddhist, uh, being a Buddhist mean?" And they said, uh, "Taking refuge in the Buddha Dhamma and Sangha." And I asked them, "What bu who the Buddha is?" And they said they didn't know. And so what you have to actually understand is that in order to know who the Buddha is, what a Buddha is, and what who Sangha is, you have to know the uh, the, the principle of the Dharma. And so without knowing which, you cannot understand what the Buddha and Sangha are. And so I asked also uh, the, to these uh, people uh, whether uh, Buddha and Shiva, the, the Hindu gods like Shiva and Brahma are same or not. And they said, yes, they are same. So this clearly shows that they don't really understand the unique teaching of the Buddha. Of course, we may uh, talk about emanations of the Buddha in the form of Hindu gods and so forth, but that's a different case. But then generally speaking, we have to know the difference between the different systems as well. They are the, the Hindu gods like Shiva and Brahma are different from the Buddha, a fully enlightened being. And later on, I was also in Lucknow, where I saw some school students uh, reciting the Buddha, the Sharam and Gachamya, uh, and all these prayers. But then when I asked who the Buddha is, they didn't know. And so in Tibet also, we have um, the stories like our Lama was once giving a teaching, and at the teaching, one of the, the people in the audience got up and asked where the Buddha is. And the Lama, maybe he didn't know, maybe he knew, but uh, the answer but then he pretended he didn't know. Somehow, what, uh, whatever the case, it may not be the second case, but the first one, he said it, the Buddha is somewhere up there in the sky, in a crystal uh, uh, palace, radiant. And so not knowing what the Buddha, tam, uh, the four Buddha bodies, it's really difficult to explain what Buddhism is and Buddha and Sangha are. So we must have deep knowledge of Buddhism. <laughs> Man, <laughs> Sigmalam Gebetan Lotus 
Chilog ta namju chalu chaya di wangyu shen jitu urwa. Chilog namju dhamatu yang suruji nyata ta ni kuyu che jitu urwa. Simbi na ne juju ta yang suruji di shenhan kuyu ni jitu ya meba. Simbi ne chay nyamni cha sa di tangdu lang. Drawe tangdu lang. Kaashin tro shindu. Mwagu tanglangu ta ne chaya jik chuna. Eni shini sosu tangdu lang ni chaya yindu sosu meba yare. Kawa yare, dindi jik ta ne trawe, ene kumji ten yindu za ne samlu kujo te giru. Sa dindi yindu, dindi yik samlu kujo te ya ko, dunzen ta ne gwa ne gwa re ma do, mi sikdu a, di be kar ta se lewni samlu kujo te giru. Loa, ko samlu kujo te ya di, trawa ke ne, yimun ke ne, ene samlu kujo, samlu ya, trawa ke, ka sa tangdu lan ya jing guru wa, magu tangdu lan ya jing guru wa. So at this point, the Lord Jesus said, the Lord Jesus said, the Lord Jesus said, the Lord Jesus said, the Lord Jesus said, the Lord Jesus said, the Lord Jesus said, the Lord Jesus said, the Lord Jesus said, the Lord Jesus said, the Lord Jesus said, the Lord Jesus said, the Lord Jesus said, the Lord Jesus said, the Lord Jesus said, the Lord Jesus said, the Lord Jesus said, the Lord Jesus said, the Lord Jesus said, the Lord Jesus said, the Lord Jesus said, the Lord Jesus said, the Lord Jesus said, the Lord Jesus said, the Lord Jesus said, the Lord Jesus said, the Lord Jesus said, the Lord Jesus said, the Lord Jesus said, the Pepe Sambati Kesem Nine Sosu Semliya Shiti Ligri. Kesem Nine Semliya Ngangra Nyungdurri. That's right. Jigna Nyungdurri. Kharas Ravna Jigna Nda Ngangra Seyadi Ngachik Chaya Mionge Sambatone Ngangra Ki Gaurwa. Jigna Dosti Gaurwa. Tezong Seyadi Jigna Dosti Gaurwa. Tezong Seyadi Jigna Dosti Gaurwa. Tezong Seyadi Jigna Dosti Gaurwa. Pepe Sambati Yeba Yina Eni Pembe Samba Seyadi Shainliya Pembe Samba Gigorwa da. Pembe Samba Gigorwa Namgyu Topa Sayadi Jigna Yonsa Di Shainliya Yungorwa Ma Do So So So Marwa. So Dindu Yindu Ko Jigna Gyesa Kongru Gyesa Chaudo Gyesa Di Di Yu Kora La Zahashin Buzi Ni Dela Ya Pembe Samba Gyesa Yuma Ko Chaudan Gyesa Da Chaudan Sorwe Da Ganda Jig Shaitan Da Jig Ene ngajia da chaadu da nrensim da tezum da saa duzu jai, topa nam da saa duzu jai di, ko jiesa shikora yi duong ala tiyan yindu zane, ko rengshin ki lodi pa ji kaso rebe, ji ngangra mei dewa, lobe pa pebu ji yong dea ji, da dan dea yare. Cha zang ka ko simli shi di ji di li yungu tuka, lo chyo su song na, lo sangbu cha ji, pensim cha ji, ngoli ya lo, Chali ya lodi pa chin su na, Semlu shidi ji liku tuka. Diya ta gazi chin lup ji ki semlu shidi liku maare, Semlu shidi chungye di di ki, Ko tok cho ki, Pembe sapa, Chungye di, Nebe sapa ta shen la ji ki, Shen da da zi pa ji ki, Ta ro sing che. Nga su tu si te za cha mo si, Shen su te pa zi ta ro ngu cha, Nga la shen ki nye me yonge, Shen ki nga la den yungu tuka, Sampa ti ji lo ti kye yun du, Eni, Mate yung koro. Ko mate ki se yu di te la, Tajuk tu pembe sampai sekejap aja na, lo tiri kaya se sihir dah masuk. Di tu kaya wan sihir tu sama yang orang tuan, siapa yang ada? Di tu kaya sembelih ya sihir sihir yang tu lebih dah wa, rancu lebih yang tu. Di tu kaya sembelih tu, cerdik kaya sembelih tu, di tu kaya ngosu tak siapa yang tu zane, beratur yang tu. Sembelih ya cik canggih loko zai, sihir cai yang tu di tu kaya lebih cerdik yang tu zane, taksi canggih ya. Jika semua orang ambra nyong rote ya, tapi kerja semua setong dek tu. Sebenarnya itu zaman ni, kanda lucu sangat juga. Cepat tu susu semki ba, lute ya, kuyu di di, si tu si leteng aja. Ya kau tu. Nah, sebenarnya itu, cepat cepat cepat saya tu, lucu sangat juga ya, lucu sangat lah. Tanah guna nanti cewari, tanah guna lama lah, dunzen tanah guna ni, dia leh iu cok juga ya. Wah, sebenarnya itu siapa yang pekerja macam ni? So it's very important for us uh, to study the Dharma because amongst Tibetans there are people who don't really take much interest in studying the Dharma and this is also amongst the Chinese people, the people are in the, from the ethnic uh, Chinese uh, and they also, uh, for one time I was in Singapore and I started, when I started giving in, uh, explanation of the Dharma, people were not so interested, they were not alert and
and just, even some were almost like do dozing off during the teaching. But the minute I started giving some initiation or blessing, then they're alert. So this is among the Tibetans as well as Chinese people. So they don't, we don't really take much interest in the explanation of the Dharma, but when there is an initiation or some blessing, then everybody is very alert and thinks that something will come to them. They will receive this and that blessing. But this, uh, uh, actually, what we, we have to understand is that uh, the blessings from the uh, initiations and other uh, tantric uh, rituals must be actually based on our understanding of the Dharma, a proper understanding, correct understanding of the Dharma. And if you understand the Dharma well, then the initiations can also take effect and the blessings can also take effect. So studying the Dharma is very important. It doesn't matter whether you are a layperson or monastics or whether you are men or women. There's no difference as to uh, who should study. There's no difference in it. No, it's, you, people usually think that only the responsibility of studying the Dharma is on the shoulders of the monastics. So we should not think like that. Because the reason is very clear, because Dharma is uh, about practicing by our, with our mind, by using our mind. And what that means is that we have to actually merge our mind with the Dharma. In other words, mingle the mind with the Dharma, the teachings. And that means that uh, your, your mind and the teachings should not be separated and unrelated, like divorced from each other. And so this has to come uh, not by force. In order to, in order to uh, imbibe the teaching within yourself, it cannot come by force. You have to do it voluntarily. And and so, um, of course, um, we may sometimes learn and uh, memorize prayers and things like that to, uh, under fear. Uh, but, uh, but then, in order to make transformation within ourselves, we have to be able to do it, the practices with joy in our delight and inspiration voluntarily. And therefore, uh, with, uh, whatever the temporary or long-term advantages uh, there are, you have to understand uh, uh, what the advantages, um, temporary and long-term advantages, are if you mix your mind with the Dharma, imbibe the teaching within, or in other words, um, uh, called, uh, totally sub, uh, uh, imbibe the, mind, the teaching within your mind. And so, for example, in the case of bodhicitta, it is about uh, the minute you have bodhicitta, what you have is peace of mind. And there is no fear about others. Because when we, talk, when we have fear, what happens is we, are, we, we fear others. They were thinking that uh, we have all kinds of you know, fear and hopes relating to others. But the minute you think of helping others, being uh, of benefit to others, you have this warm-heartedness, the altruism. Then all this the source of fear becomes a source of joy for you. You look at them as being someone and people who are actually dear to you. When you do that, then there is no source of fear left. And so uh, usually we, we fear others because we, have, we make this division between I and them. And therefore we think, oh, if I do this, maybe this person will do, harm me in this way or that way. And then there is fear in you, anxiety in you. But then this can be changed by uh, with our own outlook on people. Look at them as being dear to you and then the source of fear is gone and so uh, this is the way you should uh, actually develop the peace of mind within yourself and so uh, the, you, you can uh, even sci today the scientists are able to find that the peace of mind has its effect positive effect on our physical health as well and so uh, in both the physical and um, uh, so what happens is the scientists also find that the, when people have peace of mind then they their blood pressure, anxiety, fear also are reduced. So in this way, uh, the transformation within can help in bringing about peace of mind. So whether you are talking about peace, uh, healthy body or healthy mind, uh, you have to have peace of mind. And uh, th this comes by actually merging your mind with the dharma. Um, uh, taking the, uh, transforming within yourself by using the dharma principles. Yeah, yeah, 
Tane, any 
Lolia, Juju Tanyach, Juju Tanya, Momakaris Lona, Charging Ne, Mishibelo, Marigas, and Tarasha, a shivet. D. Could non do in birthday, shame school yard, non do in the share at the no you need to Gandhi Yet Nambo Jibati Kiji Rangun Druba, now a day, now a day to Druba, Torres, Druya Maris, and that does in shame. Susan Tambani said, She needs you ever she can shame. Midawa said, She needs you ever she can shame. Says all that in the ending, and she needs you de she. She needs you de shilish abatola, any gives you tongue down the share you do, the lamb sat in body, gives you tongue yag, tub some lamb to can't shiver. Tell it than any, the woman to give you the share down the dee, she needs you. Gotte, do the king yon take it to Senny. Sandy you go on, said, do the tenant in the young gore is what a disorder. The one with K, Drum, Yenke Butram, to Butram Kipari Chicket or Per Hametin Bat of the other friends, really have such a pale educated Uski Alhar Kiamachi or Skibad Marg Kiamachi. So with regard to Buddha's teaching, uh, we have, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we have the ground level of the reality and then the path which we progress through and then culminate, which culminates in uh, the actualization of the result of the fruition. And so the, uh, we have to understand these three uh, uh, uh, with, when we go about with the Buddhism. So what we're talking about is the, the, uh, the transformation, making transformation within our mind. So what, what actually is transformed is uh, our mind. So mind is something which has the quality of being aware and luminosity or clarity. And so um, when the, the clarity and cognitive nature. And uh, when we talk about Buddhahood, for example, a Buddhahood or Sangye in Tibetan, the term Gyeba means someone who has the full knowledge, whose knowledge uh, of everything, all knowable things is fully bloomed. And so, 
uh, when you talk about this, uh, what you have to also understand is that the way things actually appear to us and the way things actually exist, the reality and the appearance. And so, uh, in our daily life, we get a lot of, lot of times we get deceived by other people. Why that happens is because there is a there is an appearance which we uh, kind of uh, fell for, and therefore we get deceived, with not knowing the reality, and therefore people are able to deceive us. And so, uh, when you look at I mean, uh, this uh, situation of the appearance and the reality deeper, we, uh, we, can, say, we can say that the things in within and without, uh, the things outside, the external objects, as well as the experiences that are within ourselves, whatever the, the, the, they are, um, we have to know that um, I mean, there is always the, this um, on how things are affecting us, we have to understand. And uh, uh, we have to understand that how things that appear to us um, affect our lives uh, and our experiences. And therefore, um, although things appear to have some certain way of existence, but then when you really investigate, analyze the things, we find that they don't actually exist that way. And so uh, things actually, when we look at all the experiences and the things uh, outside, um, they have some kind of independent existence, objective existence, but that is not the case because things are only interdependent. And so although things are interdependent, like uh, uh, the, uh, we talk about the, uh, some, something which is short in relation to uh, something which is long so without there being a longer thing that you cannot deposit uh, the uh, short one and so they are interdependent and so if you think about this interdependent nature of things um, uh, what we find usually is when we leave things without doing any kind of philosophical investigation into them they appear to us in a certain way they appear to have I mean there is a way that things appear to have some kind of a, um, a self-defined characteristic and that's the way th things appear to us but then if you really investigate into the things you can find that they are dependent on many other factors and therefore there is nothing which is independently existing in that is not dependent on others. And therefore, um, uh, the, the, the, uh, although there is nothing which in, exists in, uh, nothing exists independently, but there is the appearance of it. And so we can talk about uh, from this that in Buddhism there are uh, the teaching of, there is a teaching of the two uh, truths, what are known as the, the uh, conventional and the ultimate truth. And so in the, uh, the, the scriptures, uh, generally, uh, Buddhist scriptures, and particularly the Madhyamaka philosophical uh, text, Madhyamaka uh, scriptures, uh, we talk about these two uh, truths. And so uh, the, the how things appear to us and how things actually exist. And therefore, someone who knows everything, the, the varieties of things as well as the uh, the quiddity of those things as they are, the reality as it is, uh, as they are clearly without any obstruction uh, and uh, simultaneously uh, and, uh, with, uh, within an instant of consciousness is known as uh, uh, omniscient one, the all-knowing one. And so when you talk about an all-knowing one, there is this feature of knowingness and uh, cognitive nature. So this cognitive nature of the mind of a Buddha, the omniscient mind, actually has to be developed from now. The, the, the, the basic potential, the basic nature of cognitive nature and clarity nature of the mind is within us. So this one has to be uh, developed further and further through by uh, uh, applying the path within ourselves. And so what Buddhism te te teaches about is the, the reality of things on the ground level and based on that then we have to make changes within ourselves. What, we, what changes we make is, for example, we are bound in samsara, suffering and all this and because of ignorance, not knowing the reality of things and therefore we have to overcome this through wisdom through understanding and by doing that we are able to overcome the ignorance and then we actually also have to overcome this uh, this other negative 
the factor, which is the self-cherishing, self-centered attitude, and uh, by practicing uh, the cherishing others, by cherishing others more than oneself. And so uh, you, you don't focus on your own well-being, your own welfare, your own happiness, but you think about the well-being of all other sentient beings. And so in this way, uh, through by cherishing others, we overcome the cherishing oneself alone. And so you have to always weigh the pros and cons of the self-cherishing attitude and cherishing others as well as the ignorance and wisdom, knowingness. And uh, see, uh, by, look, by seeing this, then you have to uh, be able to make the uh, choice, the right choice, developing the wisdom and cherishing others and thereby making change within yourself. And so based on this kind of reality, the, for example, we talk about the uh, the, so changes that we make within come on the basis of understanding the reality on the ground level. So we can talk about impermanence. For example, there is change going on in things. There is a very gross level change which we can actually see with our own senses. But then those changes which are very gross and um, uh, accessible to us must be uh, must come from a very subtle change that is going on in the things. The subtle change is the moment by moment change which is the, uh, the, the momentary change, which is termed as uh, the for impermanence. So in this way, you have to overcome the grasping at uh, permanence of things. And then pros progress on the path. And uh, based on the two truths, you have to, uh, which is the ground level, you have to progress on the path and then uh, see, uh, make changes within yourself. ตาดีกันเลยอ่ะขึ้นชีวิตกูซ่าจินเนมเนี่ยกุงอ่ะเชบีนะแต่อันนี้เอ่อกุงอ่ะวุฒิรุยากีดูทุดดีทัดตังอ
So in uh, Buddhism, when we talk, uh, when we come to Tantra, uh, we talk about the four Buddha bodies, uh, the wisdom uh, body of the Buddha, the nature body of the Buddha, and then the Sambhogakaya, or the complete uh, enjoyment body and emanation body. And there is also a fifth one, which is also termed as, which is termed as a spontaneous Buddha body. And so what this means is that we have the the basic potential to reach those Buddha bodies within ourselves. It's a matter of an uh, awakening to those, uh, to the awakening or making uh, fulfilling this, those poten that potential that is within us. And those, therefore, when we are able to totally eradicate those of the the obstacles to seeing. Uh, everything as they are, then we reach the Buddhahood. Buddhahood in Tibetan, the word, word is Sangye. So Sangba here means being totally freed from all the obscurations. And so that um, has to come through uh, by overcoming the defilements that cover our mind. So once you completely overcome uh, the, the, all the defilements that are covering our minds to, uh, to realize the full potential of ourselves, then you become a Buddha. And so Sang here has the, the meaning of to be uh, to realize the uh, the, the, the full and, uh, potential, and so this in turn is explained on the basis of the ground level, the reality that is on the ground level. When we explain the reality on the ground level, we are not talking about whether things are good or bad or anything like that, but just talking about the fact, the reality, and therefore uh, the mind has that quality of total awareness uh, and the potential to be become totally aware of everything as they are in one instance. And so from this we can, uh, I usually talk about uh, the, the explanation of Buddhism based on this kind of theory as being the Buddhist science and then there is also based on this understanding of impermanence and all this, then uh, understanding of the reality of things, then we have the Buddhist theory of philosophy and based on this theory then we get the inspiration to actually apply the teaching within ourselves so that we could make some transformation within. So when you come to making transformation there are two paths to it. One is through wisdom, developing the wisdom, understanding, and the other is through intention or um, the motivational things, which are such as uh, renunciation and compassion. So renunciation and compassion, bodhicitta, these come under the category of what is known as uh, means or method part of the practices. And then when we use critical analysis on to know the reality, then we are using that of the wisdom part. So we have to actually combine both wisdom and the, uh, wis uh, the method in order to progress along the path to reach the goal of enlightenment. だってね、ちま、ごんとたみ、ごばん、たんとにえ、でんば。たばたんとにえ、でんば。ちそのでばれとか。ならんぞ、てわんとぎわるわ。じゃ、たんがぞ、けんかやれ、ちょうたんね、
Telia, Mashavach, Ribotilia Tortan. That did do Shukchedi, Gongen Shevalatin Yondag, did do the Shukched Remindu, did do so Shukchedi, Yuting the Yungudu, Tinde Indu, Yuting. Ah, there were two, you did two yachigi, you didn't Europe Ningdulena as a Pesana, the Sugorla, and as a Yamun Tonitani, the Shingdua. Just a name of you, secular ethics, and she said that, Digan Shayor, Che Yenenda, Shrayaori, Che Menaya, Mrs. Sambuch Gada, Digi Yungri, Mrs. Sambutiana, Togu, Namsa Yungri, Sigomari, Mrs. Sambutiana, Semana, Digi Yungris, and a movie to you, dear Tom. That's a chipji, Semgi Yerok Java Shavina, Semday. Lotte Pagu Yodava, maybe Tunji Yodavachi. The trick is when Jagado Shashana, Momo Tanja, Tandunyani, Titanda, the Kirzinsha, Hambashe, any corruption said to the Shuji on the door. Corruption chair and midi, seven not you give your money, toss no yari. Chick Tangi and Chick Casu Pigi, Coxo Rusun Shashavati, out of me shaming, Chick Shaming as a bear, Namra Yar Samal, Dick Kimdo. So, the reason is that the reason is that the reason is that the reason is that the reason is that the reason is that the reason is that the reason is that the reason is that the reason is that the reason is that the reason is that the reason is that the reason is that the reason is that the reason is that the the Dinda, that any Shinidinale, Sarus Luine, any Sarus Luine, that those and Rore Mado, Kurim Chundu Marbada. Chesanga, Chaja Serva, a Dugindi de Sanguiari, a Dugingo Yari, Dugindi, Yon Sobas Gori, Tea, any Kurimanos Kugdoa. Now that Nang Samu Tujudan Zane, Duzo Sang, a Tea Mano, Mano Sang Misho, Duzo Sang, Tea Kurimano, Denizkugdoa. That 
Any change you seem to see me, Jinso Tupche, Zozo, Shirani, some dead Shirani, Persian to Chida, Hagor Persian Tamanibuti. Other deity, any Namjin Drive, Tupti Dere, Stisunsha. The Namjin Drive, Dugim, Kazo Sangla Mano, the Tizre, so in Bray. So when we talk about the omniscient mind of uh, the Buddha, it is something uh, that we, uh, and we talk, we say that we, this is something that we aspire to, or we talk about aspiring to benefit others, or we, when we talk about aspiring to uh, attain, uh, attain higher rebirth in the next life, or um, the uh, liberation and so forth. What we are talking about is developing this wish or the, the aspiration and all of us want happiness, but what the, the fault that we make, the mistake that we make lies in not being able to know what actually brings about our true happiness to us. And uh, uh, so uh, for our happiness, what we try to do is we try to seek happiness through the sensory um, organs, sensory perceptions, based on sensory experiences and pleasures. We try to draw pleasure from them and try to think of I mean, being satisfied, uh, remain kind of satisfied with the sensory pleasures and not go deeper. And so uh, this is something that even the animals can do. And so even animals can do that. And so what we need to do is we need to go further than this. And uh, we have this human intelligence, which we must use. And so because of the human intelligence, what we can do that animals cannot do is that we can make plans in the beginning of our life, in the earlier part of our life, so that we, we have a good life in the later part of our life. And this is something which we can do as humans and not animals. And so we have to not just be satisfied with the, uh, the, the essential pleasures alone, but then try to draw pleasure or happiness based deep on the deeper mind the sixth sense or the mind itself, rather than relying or, or depending on the sensory perceptions. And so um, the, the animals, of course, uh, can draw some pleasure based on those, uh, the sensory perceptions, but then the, the, the we uh, as humans, uh, called, uh, we should try to make effort uh, in uh, practicing a good life, in practicing morality and be behaving well and so that, all that. And so that we are not, you, you don't have to regret how you lived your life later on. As you should have, you should have no regret. You should be able to have self-confidence within yourself. That has to come through be by being honest, without being cunning, without being hypocrite and all this. And so these needs to be overcome through developing self-confidence. And this all, in turn, can come through the, that of the sense of caring about others' well-being. And so the, the, the, the happiness that we look for, the, the, the uh, deeper happiness that we look for, has to be based on this altruistic attitude that cares about the other's well-being. And so uh, in this way, uh, it is not just that we find the scriptures say this or that, but we can actually tell from our own experience as well that caring about others well-being others well-being is the source of our own happiness and so we have to have a good heart warm heart and so usually that's why I talk about secular ethics so secular ethics means drawing peace of mind I mean experiencing peace of mind based on caring about others well-being and so um, of course, when I say uh, if you have good heart, warm heartedness, and all this, you will ha have uh, happiness right away. And not even uh, am, am I talking about uh, the uh, having sensory pleasures and all this, but deeper uh, satisfaction. Now, if you look at India today, for example, there is so much corruption. I mean, people who to uh, who uh, in, indulge in corruption, of course. They, they, they have lots of anxiety, fear that they may be detected some way or the other. Others may detect their corruption of bribery and so forth. And so um, uh, the, the many problems that we are, uh, that we have in today's society, uh, uh, uh, 
uh, come about because of not knowing the real source of happiness. We only uh, superficially do something, but not knowing the real source of our peace of mind and just being satisfied with something superficial and uh, indulging in corruption and all these things. And therefore, in the text, uh, it talks about, uh, the, uh, Kamala Shila talks about having, if you want happiness, you should, uh, for example, it talks about the omniscient mind. If you want happiness, uh, the uh, omniscient mind, uh, if you, if you uh, want to experience it, you should have all the causes, the unmistaken causes, and that, in, that also complete causes, and then also uh, apply those causes within yourself in a sequential way, so there's no you know, confusion in the, series, the in the order of the practices. And so uh, this uh, uh, uh, may be understood like in, if you want to uh, cook some food, you can't just uh, have the pot on the fire and then put some salt in the uh, in the pot and try to cook because the salt will just go away. Well, rather than that, you have to you put in the water and then the other uh, ingredients and then put salt and all this. Similarly with the tea. And so this also goes the uh, same with the mind. You have to have all the causes. And so we are at this point where he's on this red. If you ask, what are the causes and conditions of the final fruit of omniscience? So that part. え、ペジルダ、ネギ。ギリ。だがね、新規、ゴンギ。ちょっとペチ、マルテネ、ソコクとか。マルテネ、ソコクよ、ペチセイだよ。さわまだ。ベナルビリカシェ、え、だ、
Pedge, Shulu Saman, and Sungare. Che. Da Sanje Vishumunane, Dinde in Ningi Telaya, Rigni Cheni. Dungele Tana Sambe, Lochik. That Dungele Tana Samba Samba, Dungele Tower, Dagisha, and Yambe, Gumdug Lochik. Gumdug in Ningi Sage Sungdua. Shook said the Trisha. Gumdug in Ningi Sage Sosu Kurlangiorba. Tendu in Ningi Sam, that the Dungele Tana Samba Jig. Pedge Dux Jabina. Per Nyarangi, Lolly, Nyarangi, Ninji Hari, the Sanjig Dabba Ninji Zajari, Ninji Yodi, Semishi Koyunguri, the Ninji Zane, and the Pajir Tendu Ninji Zorisha. The Chanju Sambi Ninji Di, Shen to Miki, Le Tower, Dagisha, Sambi, Hassan Dinugita, the Digi Ninji, Kudua, Sasa Gumdu Ninji Pesh Shukhsa. That Tedu Ninji Yoyati. Shiro Trojani Benada, uh, Sam Mabuji Tone in Bene, Ben Shulushan Dagane, Ben Casuri, uh, Sosa Dali in a Ninja Comiatende, Ten Tang Yari, Ben Dizuteti, Takunjo Gavari, Sene, Gunjo Gavari, Chiguri Sano, Takunjo said Chiguri said, Dinu Tone, Lingro. Dear Pazu Shiro Trochito. So that's Sandy Vichon and Tejane. Any per la marcia di Tengeno sopra il tendere il tono è lo cicciano. E ne? Da che non si guarda lo cicciano. Il tendere il tono è e ne siano le cose che sono le cose che sono le cose che sono le cose che sono le cose che sono le cose che sono le cose che sono le cose che sono le cose che sono le cose che sono le cose che sono le cose che sono le cose che sono le cose che sono le cose che sono le cose che sono le cose che sono le cose che sono le cose Dungi se ruini per il tono, dungi se ruini per il tono, dungi se ruini per il tono, dungi se ruini per il tono, dungi se ruini per il tono, dungi se ruini per il tono, dungi se ruini per il tono, dungi se ruini per il tono, dungi se ruini per il tono, dungi se ruini per il tono, dungi se ruini per il tono, dungi se ruini per il tono, dungi se ruini per il tono, dungi se ruini per il tono, dungi Dati, Gomulu Dugi, Uma Uma Shoreta, Gomulu Dugi, Changu Semdinal, Savisha Sungari. Nel Tungi Tower, Tan of Hamni. Ted of Tungi Tower, Yao, the Kwaja and Shumba Yina, Ninji, Nangi Tigri, Sundua. So the day in the Zane, Tower Sanjebe, Shiruki Trojani, Dumberita, Shukbea de Territory. करुणा जो भी सबसे महत्वपूर्ण करुणा माने आ, आ, करुणा किसी करना है करुणा करने के विषय जो है वो आ, जो जानवर या प्राणी है उनके प्रति करुणा उनको करना है तो करुणा के उसमें जैसे कि So we talk about uh, compassion. Of course, um, all uh, different animals have a certain degree of compassion. Even animals have the compassion towards their own um, uh, kind, and human beings, of course, have. And then if you look at the mammals, uh, uh, the beings who, which are born from a mother, uh, in most cases, mammals are There, there is a strong compassion and love between the parents and the, the, the children because of the phys uh, physical, uh, called biological factor. And so because the child has to uh, depend on its survival, for its survival on the mother. And because of that, the child is dependent on the mother and the mother cares about the child and therefore there is this strong bond between the, um, uh, the loving bond between the child and the mother. I mean, this is not, this is not the case with all the mammals, of course, but uh, that are, uh, animals that are born from mother's womb. But for example, there are certain, some titles, turtles. I mean, uh, the, the mother, where the mother gives, uh, mother, the mother gives uh, birth to the, the, the um, uh, and give some egg and then the mother goes away and the, the, the, uh, the, the baby turtles have no mother to take care of them. And so except for these kind of things, uh, most of the mammals have, are, uh, have this bond between parents and their children. And then also if you look at the uh, animals which live as, uh, in a social kind of animals, as social animals, then you can see how all the uh, different um, uh, members of the, the group work together. 
and um, therefore these uh, they do this be out of uh, nature not uh, because of some law or anything like that but then uh, called uh, they have they have a bond between each other uh, because of some kind of attachment to them, and so uh, this kind of uh, compassion or uh, is somehow uh, mixed with uh, the attachment also. So this kind of uh, compassion can be only extended to one's near and dear ones, and not the, the, those of one's adversaries like enemies and so forth. And so because of that, sometimes there is the the, the, the compassion that you have towards your loved one to a near and dear ones are and uh, that doesn't extend to your enemies and others who are neutral to you are termed as afflicted compassion and there's similarly afflicted love loving kindness or afflicted joy and so forth and so um, but what we are talking about when, when we talk about compassion here in the Buddhist context and it is not just this kind of compassion which, which is partial but then we are talking about impartial compassion which extends not only to your near and dear ones but also to extend to the people who are neutral to you and also even to those who are your adversaries. And so there is, of course, a possibility to do that. Um, in um, Buddhism, so, um, the, the, the, when we talk about having compassion towards our adversaries or enemies, we are not saying that we, we don't try to be compassionate to them because they are kind to you or anything like that, but because the reason is because they also don't want suffering, but they are also there's people who want happiness. So, in that sense, you and others wanting happiness and not wanting suffering are the same. And therefore, the biological kind of the, the, the, uh, the compassion that we have biologically um, is the, has to be used as a seed in order to um, uh, and nurture it. We should nurture it so that it, it uh, can develops into this uh, impartial love or compassion towards all sentient beings. All the different religious traditions, of course, have this kind of teaching. They, the, the, the way they introduce this may be different, but then there is this basic teaching that you have to think about uh, elevating the suffering of others and the suffering of others and then when it comes to Buddhism we talk about the elevating the suffering of others uh, which is compassion or wishing the others to be out of suffering that compassion has two levels one is that you wish others to be out of suffering and the other is actually um, actually save, going out and saving others, thinking of saving them from suffering. So there are two levels of suffering, uh, two levels of compassion. Of course, the, uh, the uh, Shravakas and Prateka Buddha followers have a certain degree of uh, uh, compassion because they practice the four uh, Brahma Viharas, the four immeasurables, and within which there is the immeasurable compassion. And so, uh, they, uh, but then the Bodhis, when it comes to the Bodhisattva Yana, we not only only stay contented with just wishing others to be out of suffering, but actually engage in the actions which actually save others from suffering and which seems to be more powerful kind of compassion. And this has to come through with the help of wisdom also. And so the wisdom should be complement this. And so, um, and for example, in the case of the theistic religions and the people who really sincerely practice uh, their religion, they can actually practice this kind of thing on the the basis of reasoning that they, everyone is all same creature of God, but we as Jasanka <laughs> Biological factor, biological 
emotion ni betul betul dia tu. Jadi macam mana logik ni? Nanti cik cik tu tengen cokok ya, pu malah tengen cokok. Cari tu jadi kau cawat dia tengen cik. Ini cawat dia, siapa dia tengen cawat cik. Ini dia sambil ni siapa? Tapi dia di kasur eh siruk cawat ni, ini kau tu saya susah nak cik. So dah anda dia di sana tu kan? Dunge ningsi saya di dunge le, dah tak jadi kalau cik lihat orang. Ningsis bukan kucing tua. Tunggu je, tunggu je, nak alam mesti bini ningsis cikin kuat. Tunggu je, tunggu je, kalau jauh tunggu je, seni jauh tunggu je, nak alam mesti bini ningsis cikin kuat. Dua je tunggu, tunggu tu tahun tahun ni, tiap nak alam mesti bini ningsis cikin kuat. Belanja nanti kita ni, tunggu je, tunggu je, nak alam semasa ni le, mungkin ningsis sahaja lo cikin tua. Jauh tunggu, sahaja ke sah dewa sukar terus rasa. Tinggi cik dayung lo, yau yau dengan cik lo, nyingsi tiga ratus lo, cahdo tiga ratus. Tin dua tu ngan tu ngan tu masih banyak orang. Tapi ni ya cik ni cik, sambil ni ada ni lihat apa cik ni, ini, ah, ini mana dengan dua tiga, dua tiga tu ngan tu ngan tu masih orang betul. Tapi dua tiga tu ngan tu ngan tu siapa ini, ah, kam sungi, tapi, ah, kata lainnya ni mungkin bersih awan cengki, kira macam ini saja lah, tapi tu ngan beran sih dia sambil logik dia ngur. Tenre ke dusi ke tuh ngaji nampak semacam ni ni, dia tuh ngaji leh cahaya sampai lo cikir. So tenre ini zaman ni, dah, dah ningsi lo yang le ya, ngel susu de, kang, tuh ngaji kang le tanda ke tuh ngaji dia yang orang mesti ikut tu. So dah anda de, tuh ngaji tuh ngaji tuh ngaji tuh ngaji tuh ngaji dusi ke tuh ngaji di sana mah sunyi tu lah, tuh ngaji sunyi tu. Nyawa lo sebab tuh ngaji ini tuh ngaji tuh ngaji. Ah, kami Jadi sahaja ke soal dewa itu terjadi, dua tu ngaji je. Tapi soal tanya pun masih ini dengan ni. Tapi kamu kong sampai siapa yang je kamu, tapi sumi itu jadi tujuh ni ke kiri. Tapi ke soal tanya macam tu yang mana ini kadar lainnya di pangkai kira je cahaya orang. Jadi ini tujuh tu ngaji le, terlebih dua. Oh, tujuh je. Tapi tadi ni ngaji lebih yang ala tu ngaji macam macam kau yari. Dunia yang ya, tata dunia ini macam yang terdah le ya, tahu? Anda di di sini ni macam yang agi dunia itu macam yang terus. Tapi dunia le tanda itu lo yang ya di lo rimji canggut itu dunia ini nanti rendah le sama dana dunia le tanda itu lo kaya lelak riba. Jadi ni ini dunia itu ni nanti sama ni dunia le tanda itu ni lo rendah le lo canggut ni. Rangi dunia sumber le tanda itu lo jah tela lo jah lo tela ni jungu lo sejauh ni, so ni ni jis sampai yang ala, sendiri tu dunia sumber ni nasi sendu ni jis lo jah ada yang ala, rangi tu sampai ni kalau dunia sumber le tanda itu lo ni jungu di kudo, tawat ni kalau di kudo, so ada krim manawa seti sungai ni, tawat dia dia tu ada dia di sungsha. Nizi sebab yang susu sebab na, sahaja jam dah dah na, rancu pusing semua. Tada ni yang sebenar ni kami taruh tu gua pada syukur zatoh zat. Jadi siwa cawat juga le milung. Siwa le, siwa kau le, tu, tada na yang siwa cawat juga le milung. Ada di yang yang sumber ni. Tapi dene mah jadi sebenar tu ngaji nazi sami tu zat orang yang tidur dah. So, um, biologically speaking, uh, for example, when uh, some scientists say that when you become angry, uh, the blood from uh, in your body mostly run in your uh, goes to your uh, arms and uh, your hands, and the, the reason is because what that happens is because when you are angry, you are ready to fight with somebody, and therefore you have to use your hands. They say, and therefore the blood goes to your hands, to your arms. Whereas when you become and and also when you uh, become angry, you face also turns red and uh, then when you become uh, f when you have fear what happens is the uh, the blood uh, goes to mostly to your legs 
And so th th what that shows is that you have to, when you fear something, you, have, you are thinking of running away from this situation. And therefore, you even turn pale as well. So because of this, the biologically speaking, uh, this happens. And so uh, and similarly, the biologically, when uh, because a child has to survive on, uh, by, uh, with a, with a kind, under the kindness of the mother, therefore it has a love and compassion towards its mother. But this kind of love or compassion that we have, affection that we have towards our parents, uh, has to be used as the seed. And then we have to develop it further to uh, the, the, the, the impartial sort of compassion that we talk about in the text as well. And so, um, the, uh, when we think, when we talk about uh, developing compassion towards other sentient beings, what we are thinking about is the wish. The, the, the you you think of the uh, liberating other sentient beings from three types of suffering. The three types of suffering are the, uh, the, the, the, the obvious painful experiences that we know as suffering, and the, the which is called uh, suffering of suffering. And then the second type of suffering is called the changeable suffering or suffering of change. And then uh, there is the third one, which is called the pervasive conditioned existential suffering and so um, when we look at things sometimes uh, of course when we see people really going undergoing painful experiences we feel pity or we, we, we become uh, we tend to feel um, sorry for them um, but then on the other hand when although it's a type of suffering when we see others prospering or others having success in their life and wealth and so forth I mean, instead of becoming compassionate or uh, anything like that and wishing them out of suffering but we what we tend to do is we either become uh, admire them or admire their wealth and so forth or we become jealous about them and so this is because of not understanding the the second type of suffering as being in the nature of suffering, the changeable suffering as not being in the nature of suffering. And similarly, uh, sometimes when we think about the higher realms of existence, such as the red the realm of the gods or, or in the form and formless realms, I mean, we tend to wish to want to go there. And uh, this is to show, it's for example, the Brahma realms. And these also must be understood as being in the nature of suffering, but we don't look at that in this way, because we don't understand it to be in the nature of suffering, but we have to understand that they are also in the nature of suffering, however high I mean, uh, mundane level of experience they are. Um, uh, the, because they are still under the force of, under the influence of our karmas and uh, delusions. And because of that, we have to understand what suffering is, really, what suffering is. And so, um, in, um, what when we talk about suffering, um, uh, we have to understand that this suffering Suffering comes through the force of our delusions and karma, the afflictive emotions and karma. And so long as something, uh, things are under the influence of our karma and delusion, they are in the nature of suffering. And therefore, there is nothing that we can actually become attracted to in samsara. And therefore, you want others to be out of suffering. In order to happen that, you have to have the renunciation, thought to go out of suffering for yourself, without which there is no way you can have compassion. So they uh, come in order. The renunciation first and then the uh, compassion for others. Daniela, uh, Simjatada, Belangaranzi, Sendi, 
Dona Ta Jungi Chad to Dawa, Pusu Pamba. Then to Dawa Ji Yoyadi, Cho Semjana Dene, Yongaji. Chad to Yinaya, Dogo Damsung Sembe, Sendi Pinzo Didi, Cho Semjan Dene Yoya. Ta Sosa Dibjun Zadi, Zo Semjana Dene, Yongaji. Ta Semjana Mini, Ninjikom, Semjana Mini, Chambakom. Similarly, meaning Namji to Nigger Lot J. Simjata, Namji Salam Gundu Lot in the Coba Yina. Got on Comazo Son, she saw young Corangazo, Digi and Corang John Sungiari. Then they sim some would give a dagger, saw Zoya, the Chibo Joya, Samo Yongdua. Did ye use Simjan and Mini Yongdua? So Simjan Miguel is in Yongior. So Simjan and Mene Penu Locari Yen and Mene Rangula. Then they get that chat of Yinji Gawa, Lub Chimboya, the tent of the Oya, the Cho Simjan and Yongo, you were in the Zane, Simjan Didi, Tinchibu Chayota. Simjan Yaw to Azure Mendoa. Tisada Kanda, Junus Nadere, Dakti Shanji Dumeda, Yanda Jaw, Machana, Sanji Nitu, Mindujin, Koana, Dawa, Me, Sesunsha, that diggy, Kapa Durina, Champagne Loya, which is Dubayina, Chad to give a young grace. Pull a pamba to do Nam Jing Jiva Kwan to two race, this one do. So, the leg does some die chicks. And a marshy tinge, the leg some dine, and she send the any part of me round a tinge ding to some. And it's a little shanta shando. Or that same jet tongue never jig, rang in yin, you do you run a panda or chung yard, some of the leg on the loch and chick. The leg does turn a sem yabo to your dirty. That the day in do Simjan Tamjani. Simjan Tamjan, Dewani, Dungini, Mindula, Sadik, Tarsenyabe, Shimadi Sonsoa. Then Tom and Mabaj in your corn, the Simjan Kana Lane, Dara, Dagan Yadu Mojuba, the Kanya, Medo, Yamto Yonsu, something, Shenny. Shenny, that diggy, Manga Junja de Mugone, Simjan Yadu Mojuba, Yomar said, this one soa. That did Tom the Sue Gemini, Dilla Chetra Chishiana, Lala Jesucha, Lala Tong Contro and Yurus. That Chadan Chia Yomari, Dindi Yindu, the Dalla Tachu to Dame Lodi Paka, Nian Tachu to Shanjag Lodia di Paka, Chen Sem Yoba Drup Chevy. So you have a Paviskiva to Kuruna came to Haskell, Hussar Metipun Bat Ye, Ki Manjuki, Donoki Perti Ekonashi, Donomani and Equi, Shatru Huya Mitro, Donoki Perti Manke, Avastajuki, Kimonachi, Abhaz Joe, Ekimonachi. So when we talk about uh, compassion again, um, we have to um, actually develop this partial compassion into impartial one. And um, so the text says the way to meditate on compassion will be taught from the outset. Begin the practice by meditating on economy. So how do you go about with the practice of economy? You have to look at first start with your uh, the, the relatives, the near and dear ones, and then extend uh, towards the uh, the, the uh, ones, neutral ones, and then the uh, the, um, the adversaries, and uh, how you can go about with that is when you think about the the benefits that you actually draw in life, you can see that all of these uh, the the good things that happen to you in life, in samsara, for example, happens because of I and mean, thanks to the sentient beings. And so whatever there is, uh, the temporary benefit as well as the long-term benefits, they all come in dependence on, in reliance on other sentient beings. And so uh, our uh, food, clothing, shelter, all these come in dependence on other sentient beings. There's nothing that doesn't come from them. And so, and similarly, when we talk about uh, uh, accumulating merit and uh, uh, purifying our negativities, they also are done in relation to other sentient beings. For example, if you talk about comp cultivating compassion, you have to think about the suffering of other sentient beings, and then because of the suffering of other sentient beings, you are able to cultivate compassion wishing them having this aspiration or the wish th uh, to for them to be out of suffering for them to be free from suffering and similarly it is the case with other practices such as tolerance and so forth and, um, and uh, the practice of morality 
For example, you have to uh, refrain uh, from engaging in non-virtuous actions that harm others because of others, by, by respecting others' life and so forth. So in relation to others, you have to practice your, compa your compassion, morality, and other practices as well. And therefore, when you think about the, the, the good heart, warm-heartedness, and they uh, uh, are practiced in relation to other sentient beings, and therefore the other Kadamba masters in the past used to say that this kind of compassionate heart that you have um, I mean, it helps to, uh, to to overcome your negativities, all the negativities, defilements, as well as accumulating merit. And so the, all, everything, the, the, the immediate benefits as well as the long-term benefit, the lasting benefits that you draw are in the, thanks to the sentient beings. Um, and so Bodhisattva, Bodhisattva Charya Avatara in, in this text, Shantideva says, um, if you do not exchange one's happiness with the suffering of others, then there is no way you can attain Buddhahood. And even in samsara, you will not have happiness. And so what this shows is that I mean, uh, every, all the benefits that we draw, our happiness, long-term and short-term benefits, come from this good heart or uh, having this wish to have others out of suffering and have uh, goodness and uh, happiness for them. And so in this way, you can think about uh, called, uh, uh, developing this equanimity by uh, uh, thinking that everything that you draw, all the benefits that you draw, um, uh, thanks to the sentient beings. And so all sentient beings are kind to you in this way, equally. And then you can also draw, the, uh, uh, think of this uh, called, uh, by meditating on the, uh, the kindness of other sentient beings, all sentient beings that have been your mothers in the past. And because of this, they have, because they have been your mothers, they have been kind to you, they have cared about you and therefore you wish you want want to repay their kindness and so forth and so in this way also by following the the, the seven causes and the one effect I mean, instruction you can also develop uh, this uh, the, the, the equanimity within yourself and then the text goes on to say that try to actualize impartiality towards all sentient beings by eliminating attachment and hatred and all sentient beings desire happiness and don't desire misery think deeply about how in this being the cycle of existence there's no one sentient being who has has not been my friend and relative hundreds of times and so forth. Uh, you can simjela, chishi pambe lo, dupsare jela, dupya de chikche. Teda chepji, dunge kange nawe, dunge de ngotrebe chikung doa. Tao, dunge ngotrebe de ta disham na ma sung doa. Sim, ningji teni, simje, dunge wa tamje, dunge te da jawan de ba naba yina. Kam sumbe, simje tamje ni, dunge ni, dunge ni, naba sumji, chirik wa shindu dunge wa da yimbe, sta tenema cheni. Nyawalosobing Dene Shoot, 
şarf tembulle bir yine, eni koyacak sade ya sopsor çaçe. Endi di kasuru peki lado tabi yunduzane, eni ko namazan çık ya çeyin yugut diye yunacık. Ota ser sade sandım ser ser. Ya kato sibir ser diye remito, kora çık ya da kasuru. Ta ko tanya zade ser ser. Sıçın da lenki ser gibi saçın da çalas, eni Sırıya ve sadece tabi de sosyal çanı kartım ne kişiler çayı oynuyoruz anne, yani çember çiğlendi sırıya ve ya saçında gürbe samla, yani ninci sabit de göre sadece diye doğa. Zaten kahvesi Hindi nala kahvesi doğa, Hindi nala Hindi nala kado, Hindi de gürdu. Ka. Rüvenin diyor, can ben diyor ya. Tadın var dünya sonu ne zudiyi son. Tadı iş oldu mu? Tezde bir tane ninci lo. Kom ne? Namyon kendisi tanıyor İslam ne? Cidden lo le ya, rodan di, kendisi doğa. Niyala, tadın zinki lo da seyce, lo şeydi. Tadın zinki lo da se. Tadı. Yinlu pa, çık sam tane, sam lo, çık gro pa, sam töyce. Yon be kudu la, ta çin zin ki lo do di se ni te zon ngan le. Ta te zon ngan le tebe te la, te do tu jun ki şiro zama yin ba. Ta sam jun ki yan ne yan do sam, yan ne yan do sam ni, ne var o gro, çır çır çır çır çır çır be kudu la ya. E ni, te zon ki lo di pa se ni, ta ma yi ju, zan ki kwa. De ne, ne ba ne be, se ma. Lehinizin de sımcun kuape, çiçin bir lehindü, yani çama, çiba çama, sımcun şirap, mamat giyen gülüyor. Da, tadun kom yüzden de yani, zöcek yonga, zöcek yonga. Çık sana gülüldüğünü, lolun gülüldü edin. Sana matana mayon geçik. Dik tadun kom kom yüzden de, lolun tembe zangi, lolun minziru kanecik tembe, çık kuan, tüm de lolun ya, şansım yine de, Cümle gibi namsancık lolun yuvası için bu teyacı. Yüzü zane cümle gibi yuvası. Da de deyiz onu da. Nambi nincik teyiz. Dikinizin duyan rung. Çalımın tamca duyan rung de. Tüyü tamca duyan. Sımca tamca duyan. Gombar çay de. Toma konan zaşı yaşan. Çizik mevbe dünge. Nasıl yamsı yuvası. Toma gombar çavuz. Yani nincik için bu gibi çay de deyiz onu da son da. Kankesin zaşı dişi. Ta kankesin pucun, pucun nindu dukba dunge wa dube maşin du, dönye di şindu dukba dunge wa le, dönbar dube nabar rangi ngangi jubi nindji te, simce tamca le nyaba nindu şukba teyze, zoba şe çavuk. Şe çadi nindji şimbi minyan toboz. Yani zaşı dişi olan teşin du gomuz. Di şukba de ta çancı kusun müşik kopya dere, tır dere şaşan da. So with regard to the, the uh, cultivation of compassion, uh, first of all, what you need to do is you have to, uh, before cultivating compassion, you have to have this uh, affection towards all sentient beings. So which is to, to uh, say that you have to feel other sentient beings dear to yourself, cherish them. So the more you cherish, you are able to cherish them, uh, the, uh, the, the greater will be your uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the potential towards uh, developing compassion for them and so uh, you uh, have to think about the the, the different um, benefits that you draw in in relation to other sentient beings and therefore you have to develop this uh, the, the affection towards them loving kindness towards them the, the greater this loving kindness the greater your compassion will be and so uh, that's how you uh, develop compassion and so that the te text says um, so the compassion, the text says the compassionate mind has the nature of wishing all sentient beings 
to be free from suffering, meditate on compassion for all sentient beings because the beings in the three realms of existence are intensely tortured by the three types of sufferings and the various forms. In various forms, the Buddha said that the heat and the other types of pain constantly torture beings in the hell realm and so forth. And so uh, we have to think about the three types of suffering that the sentient beings actually go through. And, uh, uh, how they are tortured by this suffering um, when it comes to com uh, cultivating compassion. And then, uh, in order to do that, there are uh, the, the text goes through various means of overcoming, first of all, wrong understand misunderstandings about the, the compassion, and then, uh, which uh, uh, by overcoming this misunderstanding, what you come to through, by using your reasonings is that of uh, doubt. And then that doubt, in turn, leads you to a the state of mind which is called assumption, the correct assumption, and then when you further take this assumption and use reasonings further and further, you come to the conclusion that the, the, about the reality, the, the, the fact about the thing, and then there, therefore you have a prime, uh, the, uh, the, what is known as a valid cognition about the, the development of suffering, uh, compassion, and then uh, the, the, that uh, is uh, inferential cognition has to be developed further and further uh, the, by, by uh, familiarizing with it, and then you you will have um, an assimilated exp uh, um, uh, experience of compassion. And when the, you have the simulated experience of compassion, that has to be developed further and further through familiarization. And then there comes a time when the compassion readily kind of happens to you. With the minute you hear about compassion or you think about compassion uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, or suffering of others, this will uh, immediately come in your mind. And then next comes the bodhicitta, which we'll do tomorrow.